Pennsylvania is all around us, and we want to help you to explore our state. Hi, I'm Sherry Trimble, museum educator at the State Museum of Pennsylvania. Join me today as we explore the state symbols of Pennsylvania. What do you think would make a great Pennsylvania steam locomotive? How about the Sturbridge Lion, one of the first steam locomotives in the United States, tested in Honesdale in 1829? Or the York, it's the first successful steam locomotive built in 1831 in the city it was named for. How about the B4A643? It's the only Pennsylvania Railroad steam locomotive still in operation, currently located in Williams Grove. Instead, the General Assembly chose the Pennsylvania Railroad Class K4S on December 18, 1987. The only two remaining steam locomotives are the 1361 and the 3750, and both are our state symbol. What is a steam locomotive? It is a train engine that is fueled by burning coal, oil, or wood that heated water in a boiler and produced steam. In 1882, the Pennsylvania Railroad had become the world's largest railroad. In 1915, at the height of its operation, there were over 11,000 miles of rail line and had almost 300,000 employees that filled 500 different positions. They needed to have a locomotive that would support this expansive system. The Pennsylvania Railroad built 425 K4S locomotives between 1914 and 1928. It was the first scientifically developed locomotive. They used a rail-equipped treadmill and sensors to measure the engine's maximum performance. Built in Pennsylvania at the Juniata Shops, this railroad mechanical shop built and repaired the Pennsylvania Railroad's engines and cars. At its height, it was the world's largest and most technologically advanced. Because of its efficiency, some would go on to operate an estimated 2.5 million miles in its career. The wheel arrangement is called the Pacific. It does not mean that the train traveled to the west. The name comes from the Missouri Pacific Railroad who first used it in 1902. The wheel arrangement is also called a 462. The four pilot wheels to guide the train, especially on curves, six driving wheels to power the locomotives, and the two trailing wheels for support and help when it was in reverse. Coupled to the engine is the tender, the most common could hold 11,300 gallons of water and 22 tons of coal. Originally, the coal would be shoveled into the firebox to be later replaced with a more efficient method. The boiler can get as hot as 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit. That is as hot as lava. The heat boiled the water and produced steam. The release of the steam powered the pistons that turned the drive wheels. That's what makes the chugging sound. A pilot was added to the front to push aside debris and snow. Electrical headlights help with nighttime trips, safety, and crew visibility. The Pennsylvania Railroad's K4S served as a passenger locomotive. Even the military used them during World War I to move troops. The most famous passenger line was the Pennsylvania Railroad's Broadway Limited from New York to Chicago with stops along the way. Broadway is the name used to describe the four-track system. It improved efficiency and allowed multiple trains to travel varying speeds in different directions. The one drawback was the maintenance and cost of the tracks. Traveling the Broadway Limited was very popular. You could get from New York City to Chicago in only 20 hours. Pullman cars were the height of luxury. In the 1920s, 100,000 guests per night could be sleeping in a Pullman car anywhere in the country. They had dining cars with china. Meals were prepared in the adjoining kitchens. At night, the beds were pulled down and they even had bathrooms. By the 1930s, steam power was losing its popularity, slowly being replaced by electrical engines such as the GG1. The last Pennsylvania Railroad's K4S locomotive ran in 1957. Most of them were scrapped. Only two survive and are now our state steam locomotives. 1361 ran from 1918 to 1956. It had a short rebirth in 1987 when it was restored, but mechanical problems caused it to be stored in Altoona at the Railroaders Memorial Museum. They hope to display it again after another restoration. 
the only one currently on display is the 3750, located at the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania in Strasburg. It even pulled Warren G. Hardin's funeral train. Hank from Thomas and Friends is based off this locomotive. This Pennsylvania innovation helped to move us through the 20th century. To learn more, visit our webpage. I hope you enjoy learning about Pennsylvania State Steam Locomotive, the Pennsylvania Railroad K4S.